Now let's move it to this biblical battle. After seven years, the sons of the late Pentecostal Holiness Church leader, international Pentecostal Holiness Church leader, I should say, Bishop Glayton Modise. Now, they, those two sons, they've withdrawn from their court battle, but the brothers say they will be uniting against the church leader of the IPHC Jerusalem Church, Michael Sandlana, ENCS Pulele Tweety Jones explains. The sons of the late Clayton Bishop Mudise, Lian Mudise, withdrew, and of course the other a son as well, Tibiso Mudise, withdrew. Um, the church from Jerusalem had, of course, an IPHC branch, had, had, of course, saying the next step they'll embark on is to ensure that um, those who are now attending uh, church at the Zirbakom headquarters are vacated from office. But of course, what does this uh, mean? And what will, of course, now be the next step from uh, you know, those who are attending the IPHC Zirbakom um, branch as well? I'm joined by one of the spokespersons from uh, the branch, Mr. Wesi. Thank you very much for chatting to us. Of, of course, that's a, you know, quite daring uh, remarks from one of the spokes. Uh, spokespeople of the Jerusalem IPHC branch saying they're going to now ask you to vacate now that they say that you've withdrawn from the from the case. What does this mean for you? Well, Pule, thank you very much and uh, uh, thank you to your viewers. Look, this threat, we don't take it lightly. They are used to such threats. They have done it before, remember, on the, in July 20, 2020. They came to Silo and they, wa they wanted to ambush us there. So if they bring such a threat, it, it, it's a real call for concern. They, they, they have a way of taking the law into their own hands. We'll not take this lightly. We're going to report it and mark my words. If they come there, they will face the music. Mm -hmm. Now, with regards to, the, to the, the court proceedings today, we are so delighted. It's a victory for the two brothers, T.S. Modise, Ndate T.S. Modise, as well as Ndate Leonard Modise. The case... The application that was before the judge today, it was for withdrawal. It was not for nobody. They did not go to court to ask the court to evict us from Silo. So all the things they are saying, I've, I've been listening to what they've been saying on TV. All those things, it's just a mere propaganda. Today, the judge is, uh, issued a, a, an order to say the case has been withdrawn, which is what we have requested the court to adjudicate on. So we are happy. Thank you very much. That's um, the spokesperson for the uh, Zirbakom uh, branch, uh, Mr. Wesi, just saying that they will be taking action against um, the kind of uh, leader they believe is the one currently uh, leading the Jerusalem branch, saying they've got evidence to show that he's been allegedly involved in some fraudulent activities, but also saying they're not taking lightly to the comments made by the um, a Jerusalem branch that they will be vacating them from their headquarters in Zirbakom following uh, this court case in which the brothers of the late Leighton Modise permanently withdrew.